Shabbat Shalom. Whoever's up this time of the morning, good morning to you. Happy Sabbath. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I'm able to come here this morning to say Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, to all my brothers and sisters throughout the world. I give praise and honor unto the Most High, the Elohim of our Creator of heaven, earth, and the sea, giving honor unto His Son, Messiah, Yahushua, hallelujah, and to the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. A blessing and greeting all of you this morning, seeing that we are seated in heavenly places. I just come to share a for a few words this morning. Uh, thank you, now, Heavenly Father, that I have repented of my sins. I have confessed, and I believe that the Messiah died for us. I believe that he shed his blood. He was crucified so that I could get a hold of the good news, the gospel, and that I my life has changed. And so this morning, I'm going to share with you on this beautiful Sabbath morning the scriptures that Father gave me when he called me with a calling on my life. Hallelujah. It's in Luke uh, 4.18. And it says, The Spirit of Yahuwah is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. And he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and recovering of sight to the blind. Now, Father called me many years ago. Hallelujah. I did not know his Hebrew heritage at that time or his Jewish heritage. I only understood the salvation message. But my life has been transformed and evolved into what you see before you on this beautiful Sabbath morning. If you have not gotten a hold of the understanding of the Sabbath yet, I pray that you will. And those that have, I praise our Heavenly Father. What is the gospel? What is the good news that we are supposed to uh, share in the whole wide world? Do we actually know what that good news is? Hallelujah. And the first time that the word uh, good news or the gospel is used is in Matthew 4.23. Have we gone into all the world so that we can share the good news with those that do not know? Yahushua went all through about Galilee. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Yahushua of, Gal of, Na he's of Nazareth. Hallelujah. He went about Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news of the kingdom. We preach the kingdom of Yahuwah because we love our God, our Elohim. Those of us that have accepted the Messiah, we belong to the kingdom. We belong with the people of Israel. Once we accept the, the Hebrew or the Jewish Messiah, that means that we have come up under that umbrella of faith. So I come this Sabbath morning to share with those that are, are on that path of truth. They will know, hallelujah, that Messiah was given uh, his name, Yahushua, back there, or uh, Yeshua. And so we come to present that part so that you can get the other part. If you have accepted Jesus, then there's more to come. It doesn't stop there. It means that you will be given knowledge. You will be given wisdom. You will be given history. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, 14 says, and this good news of the kingdom will be preached again in all the world as a witness to all the nations. Father charged the people of Israel, the nation of Israel, with this responsibility to bring forth his commandments and his laws to all the world. That's what they were given. And they were in Deuteronomy uh, 28, it talks about those that was enslaved. It also tells you in the Father's commandments to remember the Sabbath day. So those of you that do not have the Sabbath day, you have not awakened yet to understand. Hallelujah, that Father gave this to the nation of Israel and that they would be scattered throughout the world. 
the fourth commandment in Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter, it will tell you, hallelujah, to observe the Sabbath. And it will tell you to remember you were slaves. So if you do not keep the Sabbath, then you do not understand the part of this information that says, remember you were slaves. And, and Father scattered his people to the four corners of the world, told them they would forget their language, they would forget their identity. And when the time comes, he would wake them up. Well, he is waking us up to understand the good news. Messiah said, I have not come but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, that was over 2,000 years ago. And here we are. We are waking up. Hallelujah. Luke 20, uh, verse 1 says, Now it happened on one of those days as he taught the people in the temple and preached the good news, the kingdom of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. And as if you look up in your dictionary, you will see that Messiah was not given the name of Jesus. He was given the name of Yahushua or Yeshua. And but we are in an English speaking con con country. So therefore, we have come through the English door. Hallelujah. Using Jesus. And then when you look up Jesus, you will see where it says Yeshua or and then it also lets you know he was called Joshua or Yahushua. This is for those that are searching and seeking for the truth. Some people will never get this truth because they have been blinded and imprisoned spiritually so they cannot come to the truth. So those are the ones that criticize um, people who keep Sabbath and they tell you to get away from it because they do not have the truth. When you have the truth, you will never say the law is done away with. When you do not have the truth, you will say that until the Father open up the eyes of your understanding. Father has called us spiritually to bring forth his truth. His truth is that, hallelujah, we must be born again. We are born again. And those of us that are truly born again, Psalm uh, 119, and there's a scripture in there, I think it's uh, one, uh, verse 165, I can't remember, but it says those that are born again are not offended. They're not offended. They have their ears open for the truth. The hallelujah. Messiah Yahushua was teaching in their synagogues and preaching this good news. Hallelujah. He came to Galilee again preaching this good news. He was known as Yahushua. Hallelujah of Nazareth. So he came so that we we would be able to understand that this wonderful news that we have is to be shared among the people. Hallelujah. When Messiah came as a bearer of good news that whosoever will let him come. Hallelujah. And so when he trained his disciples, they went about preaching the kingdom of Yahuwah. Do you belong to the kingdom of Elohim, which is the kingdom of God? Do you belong to this kingdom? If you belong to this kingdom, then you bear the sign of the Sabbath. You bear the understanding that you are searching for the truth and that when you find the truth, when the Holy Spirit reveals the truth, then you will speak the truth. But until you get that, your mind is closed and it's blind leading the blind and they both will fall into the ditch. My eyes have been uh, opened up so that I recognize that there's history attached to the Messiah. I recognize, hallelujah, that the spirit of our father in us, he does the work outwardly. You see my face this morning, but it is the voice that comes from the spirit that is in my voice that you really hear because he is calling his people to him and he's calling people that's not ashamed Hallelujah, to speak his word. Hallelujah, like the disciples of old, those who profess to be in followers of Yahushua are charged with the responsibility of sharing the truth. Hallelujah, you must be born again. In Matthew 11, 2, we read, and when John had heard in prison about the works of Yahushua, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, are you the coming one or do we look for another? Do we have another gospel that we are preaching? 
uh, sharing with the world. It is written in there if somebody come to you with a strange gospel that is not preached, that wasn't preached by the Nazarenes or Yahushua of Nazareth, then you know that this person is accursed. That's what the scripture is saying to us. If we preach another gospel, the good news that we preach of the kingdom of heaven is that we keep Sabbath, we keep the feast, and we love our neighbors as ourselves, which means we are patient with those that don't know the truth and we love them like the father loves them. He loves them through us and we are to be those kind of people that we can reach anybody. I was a chaplain in the jail so I could go in the jail, hallelujah, and I could speak to anybody in there by the spirit of Yah, hallelujah. And they knew that I came in love. I didn't come trying to hurry up and give them a whole, lot of knowledge. I came because Father took me into the jail to minister to the people because he wanted to minister to those that are hurting. Hallelujah. If you're meeting a hurting person and you're trying to tell him the Sabbath and the feast, the person is hurting. If the person is hungry, he don't want to hear you telling him about knowledge he does not have. He wants you to have discernment to give him food. Father wants you to give them food to eat. He wants you to feed the hungry and minister to them because you, <clears throat> you are the book that they will read. They may not hear the message, but they will see and feel the message of love that come through you from the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. We thank our Heavenly Father for what he's given each one of us to do because we know that Messiah died for us. And I think I wanted to come this morning because I am just so happy that he didn't let me, he, he didn't kill me while I was in my sin. So I'm so happy. I just want everybody to get to under, know the Messiah and get saved and confess and read. I just want your life to be changed in that that you'll keep on walking and for those that's already life already has changed. I just thank Father for you. Hallelujah. Uh, Luke 9, 2, he sent them to preach the kingdom of Yahuwah and to heal the sick. Hallelujah. He, he told us to heal the sick. That means we pray for the sick so that Father can come and heal them. But the good news of the kingdom is to be preached in the, in the whole world. Hallelujah. Uh, the Messiah, Yahushua, I didn't know that he was a Hebrew. Hallelujah. So when I did find out that he is a Hebrew, said Messiah was a Hebrew, he had a Hebrew name. Uh, that name was Yahushua. Well, anyway, I believe it was Yahushua because from my studying and everything and from the quickening of the Holy Spirit and seeing what he's doing in my life. So I call him Yahushua. Some call him Yeshua. Some call him Yahweh Some call him Jesus. You already know this. Everybody know this. In the whole world, everybody knows this. So if we could just get, hallelujah, the uh, name and get ourselves, let the Holy Spirit change our lives. And then you begin to read and you begin to study. The Holy Spirit will be right there with you. Hallelujah. We are not here to be arguing over names or anything else. We just want the Spirit of Father to grab you. I just want the Spirit of Father to touch my family, my friends, and anybody that he, he can do it with. And so the good news, you have to keep sharing the good news with everybody. So I came on here, I guess, as a reminder that today is Sabbath and that I, I'm just so happy because after a while, of course, we're going to be teaching. My son will be ministering and I'll be ministering on the, about the good things of the Sabbath. Hallelujah. And I come this morning. For some of you, you know what it has, has said to us as a, about the Passover. Now, you all know about the Passover because some of us took communion and we didn't call it Passover, but we were always doing the Passover remembrance. Hallelujah. And you remember the blood that was put on the doorpost in Egypt before Father delivered his people out of Egypt. And he said, if anybody's inside those houses that have the blood on the doorpost, that the death angel will pass over them. 
Hallelujah. And that is exactly what happened. He demonstrated. So to have the blood of the lamb to confess and believe that he died for us is an awesome, awesome thing. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take my Passover remembrance right here uh, this morning. I believe the Holy Spirit told me to go ahead and do this for those of you. Hallelujah, that understand about this Messiah after he had been on that execution state. Hallelujah, died, dead, buried, resurrected. I believe this. Though they have many stories that are going on, I believe and know he died for me because my life changed and my gifts are flowing forth. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to share my gift. I'm going to share my gift with as many people. Hallelujah, that have a desire. Hallelujah, to be a blessing and, and to love me and to pray as I pray for you. After I, after I uh, take the communion, uh, the Passover remembrance that we call communion in the church, after, and, and uh, we call it the Passover remembrance, and some people say you don't have to do it. Some people say you can do it once a year. Some, some they say do it as often as it comes into your brain, and that's what happened to me. I do it as often as it comes into my mind for me to do, to remember. So again, after I take the Passover remembrance, then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, um, then read, I'm going to say a prayer in case something is going on with you. Today is Sabbath, and I believe Father still heals on the Sabbath. So Messiah said at his last supper, he said, this is my body. Hallelujah. I'm using Martha this morning. He said, this is my body. And so he broke the bread and gave them to eat. So I'm eating a piece of matzo uh, this morning, on this Sabbath morning. I'm so happy, you all. Inside my heart, it's like such joy going on. Hallelujah. And even though I know Father is having a wonderful time, Hallelujah. In the heavens, he's here with me, having a wonderful time. And he's writing this down in the book. Hallelujah, what I'm doing. He's writing down in the book what you're doing. So I, he said, take, eat this. Hallelujah, remember my body that was shared for you, my body that was given for you. Hallelujah. So he said, take and eat. I'm going to eat it right here. Yeah, I've never done this before, you all. This is something new. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as you are eating your bread or your matzo, you think of, I think about the Garden of Gethsemane. I think about how Messiah was beaten, how he bled, how he carried that execution stake. I think about Simon of Seren who who helped him with the with the what we see on these what we see in the word, how he helped him to carry this heavy, this heavy cross that he was carrying. I think about that. I think about my sins that I committed. Hallelujah, that he paid the price for it. And I'm here to pray. Hallelujah. Then he said. He got the wine and he got the wine and he said, take, drink you all of it and remember my blood was shed for you. Hallelujah. Father said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know my Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, for those that are on here this morning, on this Sabbath morning, I ask you to forgive us of our sins, past, present, future. I ask you to have mercy upon us this morning. 
And I ask you to bless your people this morning, Father. All of those that hear this audio and all of those that will hear this audio, Father, I pray that you release what they need this morning on the Sabbath and that they will have this joy. Hallelujah to know, Father, that they have the, the Messiah that you sent forth into this world. I ask for you to bring peace to their families if there is homes that is not having peace in it. I pray that you touch our children that are rebellious, that they will come back to the word and feed off the word. I pray, Father, that you touch the leaders and all of the people that don't have the fullness of the truth, that they will, that they will search for the fullness of the truth and not hesitate to bring it to your people. I pray for all the believers that desire to know your truth, that they will come to know your truth. I pray that if there's any affliction in their bodies and their mind, I pray for total deliverance this morning. I pray for love to fill them this morning. Hallelujah. I pray, Father, that you touch them this morning where they are. For your great name's sake, hallelujah, we give honor unto you this morning. Hallelujah. Grant them the petitions of their hearts. Thank you all for being here with me this morning. I am going now to, um, hallelujah, I want to uh, uh, bless our Heavenly Father. And I found this. Uh, now, this is, uh, this is an e Ethiopian. It says an Ethiopian prayer. It says, you alone are Elohim. You were from of old. And you will be until eternity always first and last, now and always, forever and ever. As for you, you are the same. Hallelujah. Your will will not come to an end. As for you, you are the same, and your kingdom will not be abolished. And your power is invincible. Hallelujah. Father wants you. Hallelujah, to continue to walk the road of truth and to dig into the truth. And don't worry whether your, your mama, your parents, or your children understand. If you have the sign of the Sabbath, you know that you have found that ancient path. You are a repairer to help repair the breach, to help to be a light of truth. And that you will not be working against the word, but you will be working, walking in the word of the light of righteousness. As Paul said, I press toward the goal of the high calling. Hallelujah. Messiah, let us know his needs be that I go this way, for it is written of me. Is he saying that of you? It is written of you. You are a child of the king of kings. And the master of masters, your life, you are not like everybody else. That's why you do not fit in. You will never fit in. You fit in with the word of Father. Hallelujah. And if you feel like you are ostracized and rejected, know that the God of Israel got his hand up on you and you too will be like Job. And you will say, have pity upon me, my friends. For the God of Israel have touched my life. Have pity. You will be saying that where you're walking as well. And you will walk a road that's pretty lonely when you have the truth. When you, when you love being with a lot of people. And you love it when they tell you that they like you, they care about you. But I'm telling you, once you get the truth, all those people just about are going to leave you. They will not be there with you, I'm telling you, because the truth hurts. Hallelujah, God's word is a hammer. It is a knife and it cuts. It cut out that rottenness that the enemy has put in your soul. But for those that have gotten the word in you, I just say, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, and your power is invincible and your strength is untiring and your magnificence will not be humble and the splendor of your name will not be dispelled. 
Hallelujah. The word in Proverbs 30, verse 4 said, do you know his name and do you know his son's name? And then they put us down because we come with a, a Hebrew way of saying his name. Are you for real? The Elohim of Israel has let us know that his name is important. And some his name is so important, they won't even say his name. But they have to say his name to say it to somebody, to say, don't use so-and-so. How else is people going to know that there's a spelling and a name or how to recognize except somebody is saying his name? So I am happy on this Sabbath. Can you tell? Hallelujah. I want to finish my course and I want to touch somebody's life. And I just desire for that life to be changed because my family's lives have changed. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? My little family's life has changed. My, my, my granddaughter said to me, uh, she wrote a poem last night and let me know. Ma, grandma, mama, I didn't have a lot of friends because they was always putting her down because she had the truth of the Sabbath. And because she keeps feet, they kept saying to her, that the word, we don't have to do that. That's done away with. So hallelujah. So they, they kind of left her alone, rejected her. But she did not give up. She said, I know Father is making a way for me. So if you have the truth, look out. Look around. You are not going to have a whole bunch of people with you unless Father show you all those people that have his truth. Hallelujah. You alone are Elohim. Hallelujah. The Elohim of all. You alone are king. King of all. You alone are Elohim. Creator of all. Conqueror of all. Slayer of all. Savior of all. Life of all. Sustainer of all protector of all, restorer of all. He is the one that loves you all. You alone are Elohim, supporter of all. You are the helper. Every person that have pain in their heart, doesn't matter whether they saved or unsaved. If your heart is hurting, the Father will never turn you out. He will, he will hear your cry. He hears the cry of hurting hearts. He heals and comes to help you out of it. He heard my cry, and he will hear your cry as well. So I've shared a little bit. Hallelujah, the Sabbath. I've never come to a program and taken the Passover remembrance. But like Messiah, continue to preach the kingdom of Yahuwah. And I know a lot of us don't know that don't know names and things, but as we grow on that ancient path, Father told each one of us, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, so that means you don't have all of it yet, but you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Hallelujah. Because you have that, you will grow into the knowledge providing you do not reject knowledge that he brings to you and already in his book. Hallelujah. You will walk on the high places of the earth. That's what he promised us. Hallelujah. We just want to make it in. Hallelujah. So on this Sabbath, I pray that you talk to Father, those that, those that already have the Sabbath. Baruch Hashem, Yah. We bless the name of Yah. We thank him for you, for you didn't give up. For those that are about to put their foot on that same path. I mean, your foot is already on the path. But for those that Father tugging at your heart, because he want to give you more knowledge to bring to his people. He want to work through you. He wants you to tell somebody about the God of Israel, the God of the Hebrews, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who brought Methuselah into this world, the God who brought Enoch into this world, the God who, hallelujah, shared Matthew, Mark, Luke, the good news. Hallelujah. This God wants to talk to you. The one that talked to John on the Isles of Patmos, he wants to talk to you. He's sending his spirit to tug at you again. 
and to tell you, let me have your head of mine. When I asked him to send me to theology school, he told me, no, no one will have your head but me. Mean that he the one that controlled my mind, my actions, and my ways, meaning trying to please him. So this morning, precious one, I am so happy. I'm so happy to see you all. Listen, Father, got a great big call on your life, and you, you'd be surprised if you don't know. For those that know, Father is about to change some of the directions and some of the way that you're thinking. So as this Sabbath day open up, hallelujah, try to find things written about the Sabbath. Talk to Father, say, reveal it to me. I don't understand. I didn't grow up like that. Tell me if there's more for me to learn and more for me to know. Messiah wants you to walk like he walked. Hallelujah. So he's the Hebrew Messiah. We say he's the Jewish Messiah. We never call Jesus a Christian. Hallelujah. We, we are believers in this place. We are walking in, the, in the, the light of glory. So have a, a blessed day. Love on your, your family. And, and I pray that Father grant you the petitions of your heart and that you know that Father, uh, we, uh, we are a family here. Every believer had that believe in that Messiah died, then we are a family, even though we're not saying the same thing yet. Messiah is revealing to us, but we still are a family with a mustard grain seed of faith more than a grain seed, the mustard, uh, a grain of mustard seed. We have strong faith. So as long as we stick close as a family, all of us that have Messiah, regardless as to what name that we are using, we are still belonging to Father if we are not rejecting knowledge. And if we have rejected knowledge, ask Father to forgive you. And then you begin to walk that path that Paul walked. Hallelujah. They confused Paul. Paul wasn't confused. Paul said, I will become all things to all people that I may win some. So when he had to talk with those that didn't have, understand about Sabbath, he knew how to talk with them. He shared with you, to a Jew, I will become a Jew. To a Hebrew also, I'm sure he was saying, I will become a Hebrew. If, hallelujah, you are believing, don't understand, I do what I have to do. That's what I did as a chaplain. Hallelujah. I met the Father had me to meet the people where they were, where their hurts were. Father went in and gave them comfort in their heart. And he gave them truth, but in the way that they could handle the truth. Hallelujah. So be blessed. I'm happy. I'll have a rest of the happy Sabbath day with my family. And just think, we don't have to do any work today. We just relax with Father. We talk to Father. We read his word. We study his word. And we just, just let go. Don't think about your bills today. Just let them uh, let Father handle all of that. And you rejoice and worship him today. And just know Sabbath is going on in heaven. And remember this, we are in different parts of the world. And so therefore, everybody's not doing this at the same time. But this is our practice. No matter what anybody says. Some people say, if you're not in Israel, then you don't know what you're doing. Well, we're going to do it anyway. We blessing our Father. Well, blessings upon you. Hallelujah. Blessings upon your household. Blessings upon your heart. Blessings upon your mind. May this day bring peace and healing and deliverance to your household. Hallelujah. May Yahuwah bless you going out. May Yahuwah bless you coming in. Hallelujah. May Yahuwah's countenance shine upon you. Hallelujah. May he keep you in peace. Hallelujah. May he grant you peace. May he grant you favor on this beautiful Sabbath morning. Oh, hallelujah. What a good feeling it is. So shalom upon you all. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. Hallelujah. We praise the God of Israel. And we are just saying, Baruch Abba Bishem Yahuwah. Blessed is he who comes 
in the name of Yahuwah, Baruch, Abba, Bishem, Yahuwah, hear, O Israel, hear, O Israel, Yahuwah, our Elohim is one, Baruch Hashem, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bless you, Israel. Father has called you to reach out to the nations. Keep reaching to the nations and bring in the foreigners and the strangers. Love the Gentiles and hallelujah that have come to the light that is in you. Hallelujah, you are called by Almighty El Shaddai. Shalom upon you. Let your light keep shining everywhere you go. Let your light shine. Shalom upon you, beloved ones. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah.